Hey everyone, welcome back to Ridge RCNA class. I am Nick Sha. Last course, we learned the intercommunication between PCs and the working principle of switch. Today, Tom received a new project. We can say in this topology, the custom, they have two departments, the technical department and the financial department. Technical department has office on the floor 5 and the floor 6. And the same to the financial department. It means mutual communication is required this time. But uh, technical department must be isolated from financial department. How to address this problem? You can think about it. And then let us see what Tom do. Tom reviewed the IPv4 address technology and uh, he think we can configure different IP address for these two departments. For example, we can configure technical department with 192.168.1.0 and configure financial department to 192.168.2.0. Then they have different subnets, so it means they are in different broadcast domain. <clears throat> when the PC in the technical department send ARP request, and only the real receiver will reply it. It seems okay, but the manager told Tom that if someone, for example, in the technical department, if he changed his computer's IP address to the financial department subnet, what happened? We know he can try to communicate with the financial department computers. Yeah. So, there is the risk of this problem. And then, Tom asked the manager how we can do to address the problem. And the manager told Tom that there is a technology called VLAN. Let us see, what is VLAN? <clears throat> VLAN means Virtual Local Area Network. It is a logical network configured on a physical network. Each VLAN has one VLAN ID. For example, we can make the technical department in the VLAN 10, then financial department in the VLAN 20. So it means they will just like in different logical network and they will be isolated. But how to realize this function? In fact, in the switch, each port belongs to one VLAN. For example, here all of the ports are belong to VLAN 1 by default. So we need to configure the VLAN first. We can follow this example. Step one, we need to create VLANs. We use this command VLAN chain. Pay attention on the global view. Then we can leave a message. For example, we can uh, configure name technical. This is a description. Then configure VLAN 20. This is for the financial department. Okay. For now, the port 1, 2, 3 are belong to VLAN 1, so we must uh, change it. We can use the command interface range F1 and 2. Here is also another useful command, interface range. It means we can enter in both of these interfaces and the command will 
works on both of these interfaces. Okay. Then the next command is very useful. Switch port access VLAN chain. This command means we add this port into the VLAN. Okay, then interface 3, we add this interface to the VLAN 20. After configure the VLANs, we can use show VLAN to check it. Okay, here we can see that the VLAN 10 that has two interface, F1 and F2. VLAN 20 has one interface, F3. And all of the other interfaces are belong to VLAN 1. When the switch receives the packet, it will check the MAC address table. This time, we show it again, and we find that there is also a sequenced VLAN. So now, you may also have some questions. What's the format of VLAN? And how does the VLAN isolate the users? And in fact, in this project, we also have another layer 3 switch. How to configure that switch? Don't worry, we will talk about it in next course. Now today, let us have a summary. Today we learn a new technology, VLAN. We know a VLAN is a logical network, and it can isolate the users in different VLANs. And we also learn the configuration of VLANs. The step one, create a VLAN in the switch, and then add the interface to the VLAN. Okay, here I also leave several questions for you. Please read and answer it. Thank you for watching this video. See you in next course.